Good afternoon, guys. Uh, yesterday we have discussed about the Mach number, Mach angle, in the numericals. Then after we uh, see the topic as technician point and the properties or uh, properties like the technician pressure, technician temperature, and the technician density. And then after we uh, discuss the numericals today. Our topic is the area velocity relationship for compressible fuel. And uh, this, uh, whenever uh, when we are starting this uh, topic, you just uh, remember the basic uh, means uh, whatever we are discussed in the earlier age of this chapter. Uh, they are just uh, sometimes uh, remind in your mind. Okay, so. We know that the continuity equation for the compressible flow is rho into A into B, which is equal to constant. The above equation can be differentiated. Uh, we are getting differentiation of rho into A into B. Let's consider this is the one, and this is the one, and this is the uh, second one. And this second one is again divided into three and four, okay? So different uh, constant term differentiation of first, uh, first term differentiation of second, again for uh, third differentiation of fourth, fourth differentiation of third in the second term. Ultimately, when we are dividing uh, the whole term with a rho a into b, we are getting uh, changing velocity from velocity for change in area from area for change in density. The condensity is equal to zero, and when we apply the Euler's equation for compressible fluid flow, then we are getting dp upon rho plus v into dv plus g into d zero is equal to zero. And when the elevation is considered very small and neglecting them, then we are getting dp upon rho plus v into dv is equal to zero. But we know that in case of sonic velocity. C is a function of under root dp upon dv, or say v square is equal to dp upon dv. And uh, just uh, we are just find out uh, dp change in pressure, we are getting dp is equal to here, c square into d root. Okay, and just putting this equation uh, in equation to point sorry, 8.2 seconds. We are getting c square into d of one rho plus v into d v is equal to zero. Okay, or d uh, rho of one rho is equal to d rho of one rho is equal to minus v into d v of one c square. Okay, then uh, putting this equation in eight point two six here, we are just replace this uh, from that uh, values. So we are getting dv upon b plus da upon a minus dt and a v dv upon c square is equal to zero. Or say d upon a is equal to v dv upon c square minus dv upon b. Or when we are just uh, take the common dv upon b, we are getting v square upon c square minus v. And we all know that v upon c is the Mach number, so we are, get, uh, we are getting d v upon v into m square minus 1 or, or change in area, change in area upon area is equal to uh, d v upon v into m square minus 1 or from the above relationship the following terms can be drawn. Uh, means they are concluded that if the Mach number is less than 1, it is the subsonic. That means m is square minus 1 is also a negative. Or dv upon v is greater than 0, then d upon a is less than 0. That means it is comes in a negative sign. This indicates that decrease in area increase the velocity. Uh, Conversing measure. Uh, is the best example of this type of system. Secondly, if uh, dv upon v is less than g, then d upon a is greater than g, means it comes in a positive manner. 
and that indicates increase in area uh, velocity decreases okay and these two are the nozzle and diffuser where uh, uh, where d upon a is less than zero and d upon b is greater than zero and in case of diffuser d upon a is greater than zero and d upon b is less than zero uh, when Mach number is equal to zero, that means m is square minus one is equal to zero, or change in area upon area is equal to zero. This means that the area is constant with no change in values. Hence, d upon a is equal to zero, and d upon b is equal to zero. And when the Mach number is greater than one, it is the supersonic flow. That means m is square minus one is the positive. Sorry. M is square minus one is a positive number. That means d v upon v if greater than zero, then d v upon a is also greater than zero, which is a positive sign. This indicates that increase of area velocity also increases. Okay, diversion in nozzle is the best example of this one. Similarly, if the again if the v upon a if uh, greater than zero, and then again the V upon B is also uh, also greater than zero, which is comes in conversion diffusion. So for sonic diffuser nozzle is the example where the V upon B is greater than zero, then V upon A is also greater than zero, and the values are coming in diffusion. This means that increase of area velocity decreases. For example, um, the example of supersonic is the conversion diffuser. Uh, from the above discussion, discussion, it is clear that the velocity of the fuel increase or decrease depends on the not only change in area but also on the Mach number. When Mach number is greater than one, d upon a is decreases. However, the velocity decreases. Okay. This is the last of uh, our chapter, and uh, then after we uh, uh, see some medical parts or uh, some questions, whatever you require, and, and now the chapter is closed. Okay, thank you very much for your concentration.